Hello Internet, it is me, Nick Bate, and today I thought we'd do something a little bit different to what I normally do on the channel. I thought we would do an unboxing video. Now this one's kind of serving as a practice run for an exciting unboxing video I had planned to do later on, but I thought I've picked up one of these nifty Power A controllers, the enhanced wired controller in the new, let's see if I can get not too much glare on this, or I'll show the GoPro, the new pink lemonade color. I believe that's what it's called, pink lemonade. But yes, the new pink lemonade color. I picked this up for my fiance because we needed a controller for when she plays little indie games on the PC. And I thought, let's do an unboxing. Let's have a look at these controllers because I don't know if you've picked up one or if you've been curious about them like I have. I don't know if they look good or not. I know that they're cheaper than an official Xbox Elite by a ton huge margin there uh, so I thought maybe it's not a cheap and nasty controller for the price I thought I'd take a stab on it I believe it was about $69 at JB Hi-Fi so I thought for that price why not have a dig let's see if this uh, enhanced wired controller is actually decent if it looks decent out of the box if it performs well so I don't know if I'll follow it up with a review I probably will just a quick one but let's open up the pink lemonade enhanced wired controller from Power A, see how it feels, see how it looks, and see what's in the box. Okay, so I'm going to begin just really lazily taking off the tape that's stopping me from getting in here. Okay, so first up, in the top of the box, we've got the instructions and the warranty. If uh, you probably do need to do a little bit of reading because you map the controllers on the back, I believe. Yeah, so simple enough, you press and hold the program button on the controller and then the button that you wish to assign to it. Plastic on top of the controller. And uh, here's the controller itself which is actually a really cool color. So it's a yellow to pink gradient. Um, really nice looking at the front. Analog sticks and everything feel good. Considering that, you know, this is an approved but an unofficial controller. So it's not made by Xbox, it's made by Power A. Um, I've had a few Power A controllers in the past, uh, Star Wars official licensed ones and things like that. <clears throat> I did have one RGB controller that I thought was pretty cool. I used for a while there um, as my PC controller. Now, admittedly, on the back here, this does feel a little cheap. The plastic on top of the buttons here does feel cheap. Uh, it feels like the plastic you'd find on a cheap toy. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, the buttons as well, now that I'm closer inspecting them, the X, Y, A, and B buttons do feel cheap. Um, but this is still, still a really nice looking controller, still a nice piece of kit. But um, it, it definitely feels lightweight um, and it feels cheap. I, I don't like its chances at taking a few knocks. Another bit of plastic. And then of course our wire our actual connection, Velcro strap, uh, connecting it. So this is what we're going to use to connect it to the PC. So USB on one end and then your other end for the controller uh, and just an old school USB connection, not even the USB-C. Nothing else in the box. That's it for that unboxing. So we've uh, made quite the mess pop everything back in there because it will go in the backdrop behind me it'll find a new home but let's have one last look so this is the controller itself we've got our two buttons on the back so when we're playing something like i don't know destiny or call of duty or whatever we can then crouch with that guy there we can reload with this guy here and that way we never have to take 
our thumbs off the sticks to get that done, which is uh, really cool. And it's, I know it's a cliche, but it's a bit of a game changer. It's actually really good. I have used an Elite controller before and uh, they're amazing. Triggers feel okay. Top buttons feel responsive, but uh, overall it is a cheap feeling controller, except for the front and the, the textures at the back. So the textures at the back are not bad. You're not gonna drop this thing. It's not gonna be uh, like one of my controllers that I modified and I made it too smooth. But I thought, oh, this looks really cool, purple to blue, and it does, but sweaty hands and dropping that controller multiple times has taught me a valuable lesson. You don't wanna sacrifice your grip. So I am glad that the Power, ha Power A enhanced controller still has its grips there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna test this guy out, plug in our favorite headset in the bottom there, plug in the top to a PC, play some Stardew Valley or some other games that we've got coming out. Uh, we're Game Pass fiends. So I will let everyone know, maybe in a couple of weeks or something, how this thing goes. It might be a real quick video. It might be a one minute review video, something like that. But that has been my unboxing of the Power A Enhanced Wide Controller, the Pink Lemonade Edition, which is recent. As usual guys, you can find more content on nickbait.com. You can find it here at youtube.com slash nickbait. I am on Twitch as well. Guess where you can find me there. Uh, until next time though, see you later.